I'm dead. Good morning, guys. Hope you have a great day so far, guys. Today, we have a really busy day. Today, we gotta get tan, go to the gym, got an extra shave. I already shaved last night. I shaved my legs, so we're chilling right here. My legs look freaking, oh my gosh, they're just white. Anyway, so we did that. We gotta do another shave tonight before the tan. We got athlete meeting, we got check ins at the gym, and then I gotta go pick up my stomach. And my stomach comes in tonight at, I think, like midnight so this could be a jam-packed day and right now it's currently 10 26 but don't forget i'm still kind of used to california time so over there it's like 8 26 so i'm not i'm not like in the best right now like like rest up stage like i'm still pretty tired but anyways it doesn't matter we're gonna keep going and then right now we're gonna go visit my dad's family um my dad's side of the family does live out here a little bit of them so we're gonna go visit them and we got a jam-packed day, so let's just go do it. All right, get me these pants. And what do we want to wait for? Okay, these are snacks for after the show. I'm just gonna snack up. Good morning. Mm, we're gonna go with the cotton shirt. Actually, we're just gonna wear our black outfit shirt. I just think we'll look better in this one. Yeah, we're gonna do that. this morning also as you guys know if you guys watched yesterday's video i got a haircut yesterday not a big difference just cut the sides off top didn't even touch it and yeah that's what happened with my hair yesterday put the beanie on a little bit dry the hair and just kind of like fly it out and then also kind of make it a little bit fluffy that's the reason i you guys always see me with the beanie on in case you guys were curious and you guys didn't know and this little guy is still asleep in the other room Good night, Josiah. Okay, we got egg beater and spinach. And we're gonna try to fit in this little cheesecake right here. It's gonna fit in, but it takes away a lot of fat. Okay, guys, the weather has not changed here whatsoever. Really, every single day, it's still been hot and musty. But overall, I've been showing you guys, I think, during the nighttime. But during the daytime, my aunt's neighborhood. It's pretty nice. Okay guys, now I got the car and it's time for me to head to the gym. So we came to visit my cousins on my dad's side of the family. They live about 40 minutes away from the gym. Now I gotta drive there, which is another 40 minutes back. And it is currently about to be like, it's like 140 right now, which I'm gonna be kind of rushing through the workout. Honestly, I don't even know if I have time to do cardio because I have to go get a spray tan at 415, but I still have to go back home, shower up, and I'm gonna go through like a second stage of uh, of shaving. So I shaved last night, but I'm just gonna just go a little bit a little bit extra again today. Like I'm just gonna like go through little spots in case I miss something. It's fine if I miss anything. And then gotta make myself a little meal. And then we are going. Actually, I mean, we might actually end up skipping the meal with the pants, everything, because we might just eat later at night. We might end up skipping the meal mainly too because I want to have a bigger meal later tonight. So that's probably just gonna like benefit us more. Why is it so dark? Anyways, guys, that's what's going on right now. So I'm going to the gym right now and I'm gonna be rushing to the workout. And then we got an athlete meeting tonight with all the competitors and all that stuff. And it's a busy day today. It's a busy day. Guys, damn, Houston is beautiful, guys. All right, guys, finally arrived at the gym. We're gonna get into this workout. Pool day today. Let's get it. Sometimes we forget why we're here. It's easy to fall off track. These help us remember. These battle scars don't look like the fate. Don't look like the Something no one else could see Tell me what it means when your faith is falling beneath your knees And you can't breathe Everything you see reminds you of what you're not Or something you won't be You gotta take what you're given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business Not because they wanna do it, just because they heard it pays And who the fuck wants to be poor, no one, that's how we've been raised Society is getting heavy, I can feel the weight The pressure of success is like a hundred million pounds of shame And that's the reason I'm staying up late Trying to find a way to escape The stereotypes this day and age is making me feel like the only way I'll be happy is getting signed to a label and making money through rapping I wanna share my emotion because this world is attacking The very principle of life that lets the people be happy If you don't have 
have a reason to breathe, why even live? These battles cause our impressions of everything that it is. To look for the keys, found them. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah, guys, I just finished up the workout. It was a pool day. It was such a good workout. And guys, honestly, there's so many cool people at the gym right now. So for starters, I met Diabetic Aesthetics. I'm gonna throw a picture up in the front right here. Pretty cool kid. He's about, I think he's 20, and I was gonna say he was my age, but now he's 21. And he also makes YouTube videos. I found him because he pretty much, he like went on the Kino Body program and then showed the results. And then after that video, I found him. He's a pretty cool kid. I met him. Pretty cool cat, honestly. He's probably the coolest guy I've met. Like, like I mean, like the chill wise, bro. Like, as soon as I met him, he's like, "What's up, man?" He just gave me a hug. He like, I'm like, "Okay, okay, this 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 is a homie, okay." And then, um, yeah, I told him we made I made YouTube videos too. And then he looked up my channel and asked, "What's up?" And I'm gonna take a picture with him. Okay, that was my music. Anyways, and guys, when I was working out, guess who walked in, guys? Matt Ogis walked in, and I was like, "What?" What, Wait, Matt Ogis, bro? Like, you part of Jim Strike? What are you doing here? Like, how is this? Is it is this legal? Like, I'm like, bro, what is going? I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Cause the guy at the front, Trevor, he previously told me that Steve Cook. Actually, hold up, I should probably start hitting him. <laughs> but anyways, um, the guy at the front, Trevor, said that uh, Steve Cook was gonna come, but Jim Shark wouldn't allow it because of like the contract and stuff like that. So he couldn't come and he couldn't make it. And I'm surprised why. Uh, this food, okay, what the hell's going on with my camera? There we go. I'm surprised how uh, Matt Ogis could come. And I don't think he can, but he didn't know. So he just kind of came. He said he wanted to be one of the judges, and Jim Shark for sure wasn't gonna allow that, but he could at least come, I think. But right now, it is currently 328 right now. And then we actually have to go get my spray tan at 415. So I gotta get home, and I'm gonna do a second shaving layer, as I said. I'm gonna shower real quick. I'm not hungry at all. So I'm not probably not gonna eat. I'm probably not gonna eat anything at all today because I'm honestly not hungry. I'm probably gonna eat something later at night when my family comes, or when I go when I go with my family because I think they're cooking up something. And I'll just save my macros for that. But at the same time, I kind of want to eat like my own food. I want to cook it, especially because we bought it, and I don't want it to just sit there. So yeah, I'm probably gonna cook my own food because. Yeah, I'm cooking my own food today. Wow, that was a pointless clip. All right, guys, on my way to the Marriott Hotel where the tanning is gonna be happening, and I'm wearing this big ass like and it's not big, but it's like the biggest thing I have is a hoodie. It's not really like it used to be pretty tight on me when I was bulky, but now that we're 164 pounds, literally it's loose, pretty loose on the arms, pretty loose on the body. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be okay. And I'm honestly, it's not that hot in it for me at least. My by my standards, like I'm not warm in it that much, so it's okay. Although Texas is pretty hot outside. I'm fine, and then we got these baggy like pajama pants I've been sleeping in. So I don't think it's be a problem me wearing this, but in case they do, oh well. And they said that they sold shirts online there, like extra large shirts for like people who want to get tanned and stuff like that, because you have to wear like big clothes um, after the tan. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we should be fine. Or if not, we can just buy something there. All right, guys, we're right here arriving at the hotel to get this tan on. My appointment's at 4.15, it's like 4.12 right now. So we're good, it's not late or anything, but we're chilling, let's get it. Okay guys, I was about to vlog when I was in there, but I was so fast. Like, I walked in, I asked them what the tanning room's at, and they just literally just took me in there. My appointment was like that, and there's like a whole bunch of us getting spray tan guys. It was, it was probably one of the most uncomfortable experiences of my life, because they literally just like, oh, they take your clothes off. And then I walk into the room with a whole bunch of just naked ass dudes pretty much. We have our underwears off, uh, I mean on, but like, there's like, it's like rolled. So like our pubes like right there between the line where your dick is almost showing and then like your ass crack is showing. So we're all like we're all like that. And then not to mention that our our like our, our underwear too, like it has to be rolled all the way up here. So literally we're like almost practically all naked. It's just weird. I walk in here like there's like 10 naked dudes almost. And then yeah, they start spraying me and then they start grabbing me and they start pulling my underwear more down. The ladies, and I'm just like, alright, just keep going. But this is like weird. It's just it, just, it was just a weird experience, but anyways, guys. I'm all tanned up now. Freaking, this is crazy. Ugh. All right, guys. Finally got the tan on. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Hey, guys. One day out, and this is what we're looking for. We got some abs popping out right here. The only thing that's gonna hold me back a lot is literally these saggy nipples that are right here. And we were going. I was talking to my friend Mauricio, and he thinks I, I honestly might have a little bit of gyno because you can feel like a ball in the back of the nipple, and that's one thing. And then we got 
everything pretty good. It's just also the little thing that holds me back to these little love handles right here. And yeah, but overall, pretty excited. Honestly, I thought I was gonna be the smallest guy and the worst looking guy competing. But after going to the tanning station, and there's like probably 30 of us in there. I'm not the worst one, so it made me feel a little bit better. It's not good to compare yourself with others since the beginning, of the, since like to the start. Just, just, just start of it. Not good to compare yourself with others, but it is a little bit more like reassuring, knowing that yo, I'm not the worst com person looking, like the worst looking guy there. So it's it's, it's okay. Just to show you the different skin, this is my boxers. This is the leg that's tanned, and then look at <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy finished eating right there we had a plate of some rice and tuna and i was able to fit a little bit of some baked hot cheetos today's my, my macros are a little bit higher than usual so we're still at 45 grams of fat uh 190 grams of protein and we're trying to get 250 grams of carbs just to get enough glycogen in my body just to look a little bit bigger on stage tomorrow actually been increasing my carbs just a little bit yesterday i was at 200 the day before that I was at 180 and prior to that my carbs were at 150. okay guys currently heading back to the alpha Lee gym could do some Competitive competitor check-ins and then I'm probably gonna chill there for a little bit Say what's up to some people have some people sign my belt. Maybe hang make a couple friends with the competitors Um, I really hit it off with a diabetic aesthetics. He was pretty cool I want to chill with him a little bit longer. Uh, maybe I make some other friends So who knows and also I'll take well as you guys as I heard as I said before I'm taking my belt so people can sign it and yeah, and then we got an athlete meeting at 8 to 8 30 and then yeah pretty much come back home prepare for tonight and just kind of go to sleep, get enough rest. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. But, yeah, one day out. Kind of nervous, but at the same time, it's hella excited that it's over. And just, I'm happy. Anyways, I actually was wearing my pajamas. I've been wearing a couple of days here, the, the days that we've been here at least. And I was like, you know what? I feel kind of weird walking into the gym with like, because they're freaking baggy. And especially right now, I have to have them like below the waist. I have to have them at the mark where they like tanned it. And it's like kind of like my ass crack, like pubic, like pubish area. So... It's kind of weird and I have to have them really low and when you have them really low They just look like ten times baggier and they kind of get in the way and they kind of like overlap my feet So part of it's like dragging the floor and I didn't want to do that So I put on my premium joggers on hopefully they don't get rest up or ruined with the thing on But I doubt it because I believe in Christian's video He put also the premium joggers on so I'm pretty sure it will be fine And they're honestly right now I'm wearing them like at the level I told you guys like pretty much my ass crack hanging like they're like sagging basically and they're really baggy. When you wear them like this low, they're crazy baggy. So I think we're pretty good. And I was also kind of like worried about like the angle part because it has a cuff. And I was worried that it was probably gonna like, where, where the fudge am I going? Where the hell did I go? Did I turn here? Did I turn here? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I turned here. Anyways, so I was a little worried about the cuff part. Maybe it was gonna be like a little bit too hard on the ankles and like start rubbing on it. But nah, surprisingly, it's actually pretty loose. Hey guys, just showed up. Park in here. It's freaking crazy. Guys, shit's going down. <laughs> all right guys that was an absolutely insane meeting they gave us a lot of free stuff i got free summer training hoodie they, they, they made a cutoff for us they have we have this cool backpack we got a free sub a uh, little try on of a uh, ghost protein and i think two pre-workouts so that's freaking dope and also i got the white alpha Lee board shorts and pretty much i got almost everybody to sign my belt the only person we're missing to sign my belt is quinn and he actually had no idea where he went but rob signed my belt Bri, Russell, Christian, and Max so far. Just need Quinn. This is the summer training cutoff they gave us. It's pretty dope. It says summer training classic. It is an alpha loop one. It says alpha loop in the back. And then it says competitor on it. That's pretty dope. So, you guys already know. One day out. Um, my time did come off a little bit, but we're still chilling. We're going to go get a retouch tomorrow morning at 4.30. Boy, we're gonna wake up early and I'm gonna show you guys a little physique update because I'm not giving you guys in a while. Keep in mind, 
a little bit, little, little, feel like a little bit fat right now because I just ate not too long ago, but we officially cut out water at 11. It's currently 11.19, so no more water, no more food, no more nothing. Probably should have done a little bit earlier, but I really wanted to finish my macros because I was freaking starving. Just want to say, over the 90 days, we lost 30 pounds, 30 pounds down. We started off at 194, currently 164, and I just want to show you guys the update. So we're going to be presenting on stage. All right. Go, little side. Actually, we're just going to do a little standard pose, just like this. So from the front, the back, and now we flex. All right. After this summer straight ends, the next focus is trying to get as big as I can. So guys, one day out, not as lean as I would like to be, still have my droopy nipples, still had my love handles, which was the main objective of this cut. I just really wanted to get rid of them, because I literally had them since I was a kid. They're literally the hardest thing to get rid of, and losing 30 pounds still wasn't enough. One day out, <sighs> starting to hit me now a little bit, that one day out, you know, one day out, we're stepping on stage. Starting to hit me just a little bit. Not the leanest or the most shredded, so I hope one of you guys can relate to, I can relate to one of you guys out there. But like I said yesterday, honestly the main objective of this, yes of course winning would be nice, but the most important thing was sticking to what I said I was going to do and following through toward the end. Alright guys, so with that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. Tomorrow's video will be, the, or tomorrow's, the next part of the next, next day's video, I don't know, these videos are a little bit messed up right now. I feel like I say that a lot, but anyways, with that being said. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. So next time, it's your boy Gio, and I'm out. Peace. I just wanna spread love. They want me to bleed slow. I just wanna keep the peace and help people. Give some of this money that I'm making to the people. So if you hating on me, goddamn you evil. And just don't understand, cause I'm flyer than Knievel. Been through a